Okay, now we have a construction question, question 15. We have, uh, well it says, here is a scale drawing of a rectangular garden. A, B, C, D. We have a scale, one centimetre represents one metre. Uh, Jane wants to plant a tree in the garden at least five metres from point C. So there's point C. It says at least five metres from point C. Nearer to AB than to AD. So AB is this line here. AD is that line there, and it needs to be closer to AB, a, B, this line there. And less than 3 metres from DC. So here, a line DC, it's got to be less than 3 metres from it, which means somewhere this side of wherever 3 metres is. What we're going to do, we're going to uh, use a ruler and compasses. We're going to take each one individually. So the first part, at least 5 metres from point C, there's point C, we're going to have to use a compass. Now the scale is one centimetre represents one metre, so that means if I open my compass five centimetres, that will represent five metres. Now all I've got to do is stick the compasses in there, do a... there, now the distance between this corner, point C, and anywhere along that line is 5 metres. Remember it says at least 5 metres from point C, which means it wants it to be further away than 5, or 5. Not in there, out there. Okay, next part. Nearer to AB than to AD. We've got two lines, AB, AD. So basically, there's a, a dividing line going down the middle somewhere where <clears throat> if you're on this side of it you're closer to AD, if you're on that side of it you're closer to AB. So what we're going to have to do is bisect this angle here uh, at that point there. So remember you're meant to use compasses not a protractor. So, although I don't see why you can't use a protractor on this one, we'll use compasses anyway. Right, so to bisect an angle, we need to stick the compass into that part there. We are going to make a little construction mark there, and we're going to make a little construction mark there. Now, be careful with your compasses. Some of them might open and close really easily, so you've got to be really careful. Try not to move them around like that, just try and hold the thing on top and then do little twists like that. So, to bisect it, we just made our two little construction marks there. Now what I need to do, without letting it open or close, is stick the compass point there, make another construction line going through the middle, then I'm going to stick it into the other one, make a construction line that goes through that, and now all I need to do is join the angle at A up with the point where the construction lines cross, like that. So what we've done, we've bisected that angle, and anywhere on this side of this line, that will be closer to AB than it will to AD. And the last part, we need to make sure it's less than three meters from DC. So this is DC, three meters, so that's three centimeters, so make a little mark up here, that's three centimetres, and then a little mark up here, that's three centimetres. The reason I'm doing two is because some people might just do the one and then draw a straight line thinking it's straight, but your ruler might end up slightly bent like that. So we're going to join the two marks together. Okay. We know that it needs to be this side of this line. It needs to be out of this. And it needs to be on this side of that line. So you can see that we have a little region in there where it's allowed to go. And it's allowed to go along this line because it says at least 5 metres away. It says nearer to AB 
than AD, which means it technically it can't go on this line here, like that. So what you might want to do is make that line a dashed line that shows that the line itself doesn't count. And then less than 3 metres away from DC, which means it can't be exactly 3 metres, which means that line also might want to be dashed as well. So there's our region.